this is a mother and daughter challenge. Well, a mother and daughter experiment. Mm. And we're going to make secondary coffee. So today, we're using food coloring. And for our food coloring, we have our Kool-Aid. So we have the primary colors. Red. Yellow. Blue. blue, blue and red. red. We have six cups here yes. that we're going to use, and we're also going to be using some paper, towel. paper towels. So the first thing we're going to do is fill our pit, our cups, cups with water. With water. I'm going to fill two of them. No, what are we going to do with the other three? So guys, we filled our cups with water and added the food coloring as you're about to see. We've added our food coloring to our water. This is what it's going to look like. So this is what it looks like after we've added the Kool-Aid tissue, paper towels. And what is supposed to happen is over time, some osmosis is supposed to occur. So water from each of the colored cups is going to go through the um, tissue paper and into the empty cup. And so the two colors coming in are supposed to mix and then we'll find out which of the colors they're going to mix. So we're going to find out what blue and red mix, what red and yellow mix, and what yellow and blue mix. So this is after about five minutes of allowing the osmosis process to take place. And as you can see, they're starting to fill up with some water. What we realized too is that the amount of water that was in there has gone down as well. So a bit of osmosis is coming through, but the dyes have not Okay. So what I'm going to do is mix up the water a bit and see if anything changes. And as you can see as well, the dye is moving up the um, tissue. Moving up the tissue a bit. This is the following day and we finally got some results. It wasn't as strong as we wanted it to be, but we did get the results. And I'm wondering if it's because we didn't use actual food coloring. But yes, guys, let us know how you like this experiment and if you tried what your results were. And thanks for watching.